Chapter 6 International Cooperation and Development In the last lesson, we learnt about the achievements of the United Nations. In this lesson, we will study about international cooperation and development. Globalization has brought about a lot of change in the nature of international cooperation and development. Therefore, we will also be studying the meaning and effects of globalization. The Importance of International Cooperation Different countries have transactions with each other in the fields of economy, trade, culture, science and technology, etc. This give and take is known as international cooperation. The aim of this give and take is to help each other and also to carry out one's own development. Since development is a common aim of all nations, they are all interested in international cooperation. This cooperation also helps to reduce the gap between the rich and poor nations. Globalization has given a boost to international cooperation and increased its scope. Poor and Rich Nations The countries where the per capita income is high, substantial industrial progress has taken place and where the level of literacy is also high are known as rich nations. They enjoy a relatively high standing on the Human Development Index. The poor countries could be rich in their natural resources but they lack material and technical know-how and therefore they are not able to use these resources for their economic development. The poor nations have an agriculture dominated economy, a slow pace of industrialization and low level of literacy. These nations are placed low on the Human Development Index. They also have to take special efforts to solve the problems of poverty, unemployment, social backwardness and political instability. Globalization Globalization means the free movement and give and take of information technology, capital, people, market and commodities between countries. It has led to an integration of the economies and markets of various countries. After 1990, the pace of globalization increased. There was a greater contact between people living beyond the borders of the countries in different parts of the world. The give and take of ideas also increased. It became possible to take along the flow of capital, skilled unskilled labor anywhere in the world. Production of goods wherever convenient and cheap, manpower wherever available and selling the goods in any market in the world. This kind of a change has been ushered in by globalization. Though the main context of globalization is economic, yet it has different aspects like the political, cultural, educational, etc. Globalization has also led to changes in the economic and foreign policies of all countries. Trade Globalization has led to an integration of economies. India has given a positive response to this process. India realized that international trade is an important way of preserving international cooperation and therefore, after 1990, she brought about many economic reforms. She opened her markets for other countries as also removed restrictions on trade. India also became a member of trade organizations at the regional and international levels. The World Trade Organization was created in 1995 to frame rules for international trade. India became a member of this organization. In this organization, there are discussions and negotiations about world trade leading to formulation of world trade policies. India has been constantly working to ensure that these policies will be beneficial from the point of view of the developing countries. Technology The changes in technology reduced the geographical distance between countries and within countries. It became possible to make a contact anywhere in the world in a very short span of time. 
the process of monetary investment and transaction became very easy through the electronic medium. The progress in technology has given an important advantage to the health sector. This can be seen in the developments in the field of medicine, improvement in health services, increase in the quality of life, increase in the life expectancy, etc. This give and take is not one-sided. Rather, all nations are contributing to this process. For example, India's traditional knowledge, yoga and Ayurveda are spreading all over the world. Political and Social Changes The process of democratization received a boost due to globalization. People around the world are taking a firm stand that the functioning of the state should be transparent and there should be accountability in governance. Information about the struggle for rights and freedom in the world can now easily reach everywhere, leading to a better awareness among people. The routine use of computers, internet, email, fax, mobile has led to an increased contact between people. The facilities provided by technology have led to a rapid development in the field of art, literature, music, science, sports, entertainment, news, etc. All these changes have had an impact on the life and thoughts of the people. There is a new consciousness that the world is one and through this a new global culture is being created. All these issues are conducive to international cooperation and development.